Hi guys, hello everyone. So we just the other day we're talking with uh, my family and today with some of my friends and I want to give you some idea about what I think how the energies are affecting us and what is the energy about. So here is a person, right? Like whatever, stick figure. Sorry, yep. Duck. And this person has energy right whatever the emotions that they experience and uh, whatever is causing their life so this is let's say their um, energy zone whatever is happening around and there are two energies some energies are positive and some energies are negative let's say these are emotions of happiness beliefs of self-worth of love and some other things and all this causes him this person or her uh, positive things in life right so the emotions are great the energies are cool and then this is negative things that are happening around and every time like negative reactions for instance uh, fear anger not believing in yourself getting frustrated I cannot do this, I cannot do that, I'm not worthy, I have problems with this, people don't love me, and everything. And then what do you think will happen if every, if our everyday thoughts consist of, let's say we read news and if we open our Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or whatsoever and we see people being all the time like better than us, so we have this feelings of self-doubt i'm not someone is better than me i'm very bad at this i'm very bad at that someone is dancing better than you someone is speaking better than you someone's english is better than yours <laughs> whatever is that right you can get frustrated about anything then you drive your car to work and then everything just negative because someone hit you from the side or you missed that red light and you got late for the meeting, you drive, you drove through to get your morning coffee and then it wasn't hot enough. So everything that we react negative to, right? So with colors, it's very easy to see. So energy would be, let's say, either positive or negative. And it doesn't mean it's bad or good. It just, it has positive charge to it and it has negative charge to it. So what do you think in this person's life? What energies this person will attract more? What energies it will come to this person? Even if, let's say, it's like magnet, you know, that this is positive magnet and negative magnet, right? Like the, the positives are, uh, whatever, the, the negatives, sorry, uh, the negative, So this thing is like a magnet, right? Some things are getting to us and some things are getting from us. So whatever we here have in, in our environment, that we attract. So if we attract something with negative charge, it means because we have more negativity of that in our life. So our energy consists of more negative energy doesn't mean again it's bad or good it's just the way it is don't think about it like anger is bad or love and peace is good it's just negative or positive just forget about good and bad and in your field is just more plus or more minus and then if it's more minus then of course you will get plus as well because uh, let's say the weather is beautiful today and you're all empowered but just because you have more negativity in your field that you cannot control, which, is, which are the thoughts and reactions, that of course you will get more negative things attracted to you because it just everywhere, it comes from everywhere. The people will be like this, you know, the situations will be like that. Minus. So everything will come to you with negative charge, whatever is there. Why? Just because you are a magnet and you attract alike energies. That's very basic. That's physics. That's sadly we don't study that at school. But anyways, and so what to do? How to change your life like this? What do you want to do normally in this situation? Is you want to become aware 
and start having less red in your life, right? So I will have to delete everything. So you remove red here, you remove red there, and then no more red. What is red? Red is your reaction to something, right? You look at the base of that reaction. What caused, it, what caused that reaction? It could be one thing, could be two things, could be childhood memory, could be another experience or, or whatever. And then you put a positive thing on that. And if it's positive good enough and strong enough, then it will affect positive. And then you don't, on that particular thing, you don't have already negative reaction. So it's not going to happen. So what you will attract, you will attract something that is positive. And then like this, you do with every other aspect of your life, whatever it is. And then the, eventually your life will be different. Just a second. So what happens when you will be there with positive emotions? You will have some negative thoughts still, of course, we all live with them, but then the reaction is already, for for same negative thought, you can put a stronger positive one. And then what happens is you will have strong ones, positive ones, or like, you know, all these things about affirmations, all these things about reading what you want, making plans, making vision boards, all that will make attract plus in your life. From anywhere, you will not see, but let's say you will get extra donut with your morning coffee, or that bad person that cut your rod this morning, you will see him somewhere else, and then uh, instead of you reacting negative, you will see that police stop him for over speeding or something, you know? So everyone deserves what they get, but you deserve what you get as well. And then you will still have negative things, as they say. It's just that how you will react to them. And what your environment will be is already for you to decide. Because how you create your life, that's what you attract. And without these basic things, I wish we were studying this in schools, but without these basic things, the life is just not possible without understanding these principles. And it could be different than this. I mean, anyone can explain it another way, but it doesn't change the fact that somehow, somewhat it exists. If you are curious, you can read quantum physics on it, quantum mechanics and everything else, read about energy, read the studies about energy, but it doesn't change the fact that we are all energy and what we have in our field, that's what we attract. Just like a magnet. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope it was useful.